Backwards Barbells with Backwards Barbell Squad. Welcome back. If you are new to this channel, guys, this is Backwards Barbells. We do strongman, some powerlifting, and we do a hell of a lot of fishing. And guys, crappy fishing is right around the corner. Uh, but now a couple times with no luck. So uh, I've been trying to make videos on that stuff, but guys, we're gonna do a little review on my last competition of Florida in Punta Gorda, guys. The whole trip was a great experience. There were some things in the competition that really, really, really upset me. Um, some things were out of my control. Some things I wish you know, I could have done better in, but a lot of it comes out of this. And so, we had the competition, guys, and we waited in the day before, but you see here, walked in. Nice looking gym, whatever, but uh, the show was kind of like, out of like a pier, park area. It was a pretty cool setup. Willie was there, of course. And we get there and I find out that there were supposed to be six people in my weight class and now there's two, counting me. Um, I'm not going to say any names. You know who you are. You tried to say it was injuries or whatever it was. But I found out the real truth, at least from people who go to your gym. So that's on you. Like I said, I'm not going to say any names. Um, your time is coming. You're, you can't run forever unless you're going to keep backing out of shows. I know the reason why. I've seen the text messages. I've seen all that stuff. So there's no excuses. I mean, I considered you to be a friend at one point, And now I don't know what to think of you. I'm, like I said, I'm a little heartbroken because you talk so much shit on Instagram. By the way, Instagram, guys, I post all the Starman stuff up right away. Do more, way more on Instagram, TikTok than I do on Facebook. Here's the links. Go check them out, guys. I really support it. We're trying to get to 1,000 followers on Instagram. We're trying to get to 5,000 on uh, TikTok before the end of the year. So go check those channels out. But guys, like I said, you didn't have to back out. You could have showed up at least. I mean, you've been afraid whatever. I drive two hours to go support my friends when they're competing in state. You, you, I, I flew for Nebraska to just to compete against you. And you chicken the fuck out. And I'm literally, I'm looking at you right now. I hope you see this video. Because at USS National, there is no more fucking running. If you show up. Honestly, we will have this talk. Man to man. Eye to eye. You were mad because some things didn't go your way. You didn't take the time to train, right? Granted, there's a lot of things that happen. I understand this is not a pro strongman thing. But, in your home state. If I talk shit in Nebraska, I'm gonna go back and fuck up in a competition. You chicken the fuck out. But guys, that's over. We're done with it now. So, like I said, I'm just mad that you took all the other competitors with you. You didn't want them to come compete against me. Like I said, I flew from Nebraska to Florida, halfway across the country, to compete at a show. There was six people signed up. Only one other person signed up. So, uh, by the way, I can't remember your name. I have you on Instagram. I will tag you in this video. Uh, who the guy was? You know, what a ball out at least. You showed up. You were granted, knew from the get go. Like I said, I'm not bragging about me. The dude barely made me, barely missed heavyweights. He was forced into super heavyweight. So he's the only reason why I got to compete against anybody at all. But, you know, hat off to you, man. You at least came up. You competed. You tried your best. That's all you can do. That's all every, anyone wants to see you do these shows. But we're going to go over what I did, guys. We're done with that. We're it's, it's over. Don't care no more. Your time will come. But guys, we get there. Log press. Probably the most disappointing event of the whole day. I was super geared up, guys. I was hitting close, you know, 380. I was hitting 380s consistently. Hit 391s in practice. Was really gearing up for that 400 pound overhead press. And yes, I talked my shit. I talked all my shit on it on Instagram, TikTok. That I'm gonna hit this 400 pounds. And I didn't do it. I mean, that's all me. I can't take that back. I talked all the shit and I didn't back it up. But there are reasons why this did not happen. Because one, uh, when you see the video, you can kind of see a lot of people complain about this. We were in a slope and it was pushing the weight back. I tried my best to get right in the middle. As you can see, it took me like three or four good heaves at 365, I believe it was that, 360. And just took forever. And if you notice, for those who are on my Instagram and stuff, that everyone should be on, that uh, I'm missing something. I, I forgot to put on my elbow sleeves. I literally, if, 
I wish I could have the audio on this because you would hear me go, what the fuck? <laughs> or, yeah. I looked over and I was like, what the hell? I, I felt a pinch in my elbow, which I only get when I don't wear elbow sleeves. So, there's that one rep, or one, that all it took was one, 365. I believe second place in the whole competition was, like, any weight class was like 300, 305, 310, somewhere in that range. But, yeah. So, next event, deadlift. This is one another event I was super geared up to get to. And uh, they actually had to borrow kilo plates from the gym because I told the promoter, she was, she's friends with me on his, or Facebook, sorry, posting, you know, 900 pounds, 925. She asked me uh, what my goal was. I told her, well, I would really, this is when I knew that person was still in there. I really am geared up to try to do a thousand pounds. Never pulled it in practice. Nowhere close to it in practice, but you know, I'm, I'm geared up. I'm ready to try a thousand pound attempt. So she had to go get kilo points, guys. So first step was 885. I mean, cakewalk. I don't know why, but it felt like everybody in that whole area thought I bit off a lot more than true. I mean, Ken, my coach, even said, you know, open at 885, whatever. I wish I would have opened up at my 903, because that's what set a Florida state record in the 18th deadlift. Or 902, 903, something like that. Kilo plates, guys. But regardless, Speed rep, right at the legs. I drop it and say, oh yeah, we're gonna do one more. Oh, fuck this, I'm ready to go. And then Willie comes over. Oh, Willie. Comes over and says, you're doing a thousand pounds. So I said, okay, yeah, we'll try it, why not? I mean, like, like what my wife said, my dad said, everyone else said, they were like, man, you could have done like, you had 875, or 975, you know, maybe 980, whatever. And I thought that, but you know, like I said in the Pittsburgh video, when the president of your federation tells you to pull the weight and you don't even try it, I mean, that's kind of a slap in his face, just to me at least, so. And I've never been one to impress somebody. I, like, people, when they see Willie at these shows, president, USS, whoop, whoop. But uh, they try to impress them. I have never went to a show trying to impress somebody. Because there's no matter what I do, it's not going to impress them. Like Willie, Ken, all these guys, they've seen it all. There's nothing I can do. Or like when, you know, Evan Singleton or Nick Bess or Travis Wormeyer, they're at a competition. There is nothing I can do that's going to impress them. They've seen it all. They've been the very top that they can be in. Weight classes, worlds, all that shit. There's nothing I can do to impress him. So I just wanted to go out and do the best I could. And he called me out a thousand pounds. I tried it and guys, it was there. Oh my God, it was there. I had it to my knees. It was a brand new bar basically. That gnarling just shredded my kneecaps. I had set, I, I should have gave it, you know, a bigger pull and then I should have not hitched so hard from my knees to get it right at my legs faster, but I missed it. Yep, I missed it. That's all I can say about that, guys. And it was close. Was it there? Who knows? A lot of people kept telling me they thought it was there. I had it. You know, you're close. I still think, you know, there's there's more to it than that's that. I, I think I still have a ways to go, to be honest with you. I have to get a thousand pounds, but in the future, it'll be there. I'm trying to get signed up for a show right now in Michigan with the 18-inch record breaker, granted there's no way in hell I'm gonna break the record at 1,100 pounds, but who knows, we'll see. We're on the new adventures in life right now, me and Ken are, and, but yeah. So anyways, third event, Farmer's Hole. Grip shot and deadlift, all that. And the guy that did it for me, he said, sorry, I not remember your name, I feel like a dick for it. Um, he said, yeah, it wasn't done practice, you know, it was like 25 seconds, so okay really didn't care if I won this event. Honestly, I thought about skipping this event to save my calluses some, but just said, what the hell, grabbed it. It was like 24, 25 seconds, dropped it, and the guy only did like 16, 17 seconds. He went first, whatever. I told him I didn't care if I went first or not, but yeah. So we were in the stand big low. I believe it was 225 or 220, 250, 275, 310. 23 seconds, 
Got through the first two bags pretty quick, and then it was just, just chilling, calming down, you know, just getting over, finishing the event. At this point, I already had the whole event won. We go over to the chain drag, weird event, not what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it'd be like, you know, giant log chains, but they were just little chains. Roughly, I don't, I don't, I don't think they weighed 400 pounds, uh, 200 pounds each hand apparently, but uh, yeah, eight seconds on that, guys, nothing special, but uh, won that event. So I swept all the events. I won my, I won deadlift now in every competition since I started Starman back up a year ago. And I needed the win though, it helped me get through the Bricktown. Like I said, I didn't, I didn't do a video on Bricktown. I was just so beat up and pissed off about it, honestly. Pulled my bicep. And hey guys, if you want to see other stuff like that, you gotta go on my Instagram, uh, Team Gardner 76 I do videos on that, go into injuries, I go into, you know, food, supplementation, all that stuff, guys. Uh, way better content, more up-to-date content than YouTube that I do, just because I hate my editing software so much. But guys, like I said, the trip was fun. It was super, super fun. Met a lot, a lot of cool people. I mean, we have roots now from Nebraska, Iowa, Pittsburgh, Kansas, Missouri. So, yeah, we just competed all over. But uh, what's next? Guys, we're gonna start doing the daily vlogs. I really want to get into that. It's just so hard for me to record while I'm at gym. I just don't like talking to a camera, to my basically to myself. I agree, I'm talking to you guys, but I don't like talking to myself with a lot of other people around. So I like when I go fishing a lot of times, I'd more people that aren't around stuff. A lot of times when I go fishing, I don't even record it. Sometimes I just want to be by myself without you guys. But Thing at you guys, I just I hate editing videos sometimes, it's not fun to me. But this video, I was able to do it all in one take, so that's good, I guess. And this video won't take that long to put up a few songs, all that, throw on the slide of the videos on there. But uh, yeah, guys, so what's next after the vlogs stuff? Well, the reason why we'll do the vlogs is because we got nationals. We are what is it now? Hold on, we're gonna ask Siri because Siri knows everything. Siri, how many days till June 25th? It's 72 days until then. There's your answer. So today is Thursday the 14th. We got 72 days, guys. We got 72 days to get strong, fast. We're trying to cut down. My goal was to get down to about 315, 320 by that time. So I'm going in lean, in shape. We're adding more cardio. Uh, like this week, jump rope a lot. It's, it sucks when your nose is all plugged in. You can't really. Do the cardio you want to do. I mean, I want to run more and all that too. Uh, get on the stairmaster some, but uh, we do what we can. Like I said, my gym we don't have that much equipment. It's more self-reliant cardio. But jump rowing, I think that's gonna be a big benefit. Help us with shoulder strength and uh, conditioning, all that stuff. But guys, like I said, Nationals coming up. I'm super excited. I believe there's like 43 guys in the super heavyweight class. And I haven't heard on who's dropping out because of, you know, the pro, strongman, national thing yet. Or if anyone is, I don't know why you would risk doing regular nationals than when you can do the USS one if you qualify. I know if I qualify for USS pro strongman, I wouldn't be doing New Hampshire nationals. They're so close together. It's a split trip. I mean, it's all the way up in New Hampshire. Guys, it's not, a, it's not, it's cheap. I'm literally pushing pennies for this competition right now and stuff so uh getting some money put away with that we're gonna get our ass to new hampshire we're gonna win and then after new hampshire guys uh if you watch the vlogs we would be telling them what's gonna come after new hampshire because there's something in between new hampshire and now we have to do to get qualified for something very special and no, it's on the shop closet because we're not doing shop closet. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna get out of here, guys. It was fun chatting with you. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Again, guys, uh, Florida Mayhem, strongest man right here. Uh, Steel City, strongest man. Iowa Strength Games and Nebraska, strongest man. I am out, guys. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. I will see you all later. See ya.